Sneaker fam, what's going on? It's your boy Jay back with another real and fake review here, man. And y'all already see it right here. It's the uh, Air Jordan 1 Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse here. So I picked these up just for the box. I just wanted the box. I seen some other homeboys review them uh, when the Spider-Man um, uh, No Way Home or Far From Home, one of them things came out uh, that just came out. And um, I was like, man, these things, all right, man. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick up a pair since my box is messed up. So I was like, you know what? Why not? So in the process, I do a real fake review. So let's see what's up, man. Of course, my lid's messed up. So we're going to go with this one. And this is like hot off the press. It has the strong glue smell. It's like they just made it inside the box is like, you know, as you see, it's like peeling apart and stuff. But it's all good. I guess I just have to, you know, probably put a heat gun to it. I'm going to take these shoes out. Oh, sorry. Look at the label. I mean, not bad. Usually, um, these labels are, are transparent, like see-through, but it looks pretty solid compared to the retail pair. Now, these these are my shoes. I wore them. I had no intentions on doing the real fake, so I've been wearing these for a minute. So they're a little dirty, and I just and I wore them to the movies too. So it's like an impromptu type review. We're gonna pull these bad boys out. And we're going to get to the review and this one, I'm going to move these boxes out of the way. The boxes will be out of the way on this one. All right. Sniff test. Listen, strong, strong, strong glue smell. Not that strong. Like, not like the uh, Carolina ones that I had. But yes, uh, when I initially opened it, my daughter was like, man, this thing smells super, super strong. So, both shoes in your face, and you just look at them. You just take that one little stare. Not bad. So, we'll take the retail pair. You go around on it. Of course, you're not going to see that nice pinch because I've been wearing them. All right. You go with the fake pair. You can just tell this is like a bigger shoe right this seems like a i've been saying this every time with these jordans ones and here goes your lean test this thing's wobbling like crazy with this one you can barely see you can see those the the the, the webbing because this is painted on and this is built in the material with the 3m so you're barely going to see it until it reflects. This one here, this is the fake pair. It looks like it's been like printed on, like painted on here. You can see that pattern. Now I'm going to go back to the shoe, medial side. Of course, they get all that right. They stitch above the swoosh. They actually have the, uh, I call it like a patent leather or a clear plastic trim around the swoosh. Which they have that here. So the thing is, is that they're gonna emulate whatever is there. But you can see here, it's a completely different scaled shoe. It's slightly taller here. You can see it's a different shade of red. If you really look at it. Almost looks like it's a half an inch. do here right here almost looks like just a tad bit you can see i'm not moving it now here you go it's like it's a half an inch longer on that i'm gonna take a look at the back let me do this a little bit quicker the tongue material always different on the rear can tell from the texture softer tongue materials always different look at this you can tell this is fresh made they got the new school shoe tree on here with the die cut sock liner and of course that's not how they came let me pull the shoe tree out this is an older older shoe 
12, 12 and a half. They have the, the red tips, red lace tips. They, they gave it a good slant on the toe box. Take a look at the top of the tongue. Look at the Nike Air here. We're gonna look at the production dates, lace bag, insoles. So this is a lace bag to my retail pair. That's the lace bag to the fakes. As you can see here, bag is smaller, a different shade of red. It's wrapped differently as well. No biggie. Wings logo, super huge wings logo. Look at the print on it on the fake pair. Look at the wings logo. On a legit pair, so we put them both together. Pull out the insole, and then we're gonna look at the production dates. This is the fake pair. Of course, it's all brand new looking. See if I can pull out the insoles on this one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, oh, shucks. I'm trying, I'm trying, people. Oh, I'm trying. Oh boy. All right. That was a tough one. But I got it. All right. Real is at the bottom, fake is at the top. You can't really tell by this because of the age. You know what I mean? But maybe just a different shade of blue. Different shade of blue. Of course, the Nike Air is gone on it. I could probably use this in my new shoe, in my old shoe. You know what I mean? Then take a look at the stitch pattern on the inside. This is the legit pair. So they got the short piece of tape in there, which is pretty good. And that's the stitch, stitch pattern on the replicated fake pair. So, I go back and look inside retail pair and ask the stripper tape. It's a little bit longer. So there you go. Production date. We have 7, 12, 18 to 9, 10, 18 XC. And then we have 7, 12, 18, 830, 18 XC. So they replicated. They basically repli replicated where factory came from, production line, and close enough on the date. And this is the fake pair. This is a replicated pair. This is the retail pair. So I'm gonna put everything back in. I'm gonna weigh them and uh, black light them. So I'm sure my retail pair is gonna look a little nasty because I was wearing them, but it is what it is. Just trying to get this out to you guys. You know what I mean? Like I said, is it a great substitute? Are you not paying seven, eight hundred bucks? Hey man, you do what you do. I don't care. But uh, just showing you guys the differences. Legit checking purposes only. And to, to really show that, you know, these things aren't the same. I know there's this huge argument still of these things are the same and materials. I mean, uh, you guys just need to stop it. Man. Just need to stop. Cause I tell you what, the more you try to overhype and over glorify these shoes, I'm telling you, listen, your beloved fakes, your beloved counterfeits, the prices will go up higher and it's going higher already. And they're going to keep blaming it on shipping. 
oh, the shipping is too high, shipping is too high. And next you know, you're going to be paying $200, $250, $300 for face. And that's going to be over. They're going to keep playing you guys and keep playing you guys. Keep it up. It's going to happen. All right, let's blacklight these bad boys. You know what? I'll weigh them first. I'll weigh them first. Zero it out. Left shoe. Left shoe is the one with the lace bag. We'll put that lace bag in there. One pound, 3.8 ounces. I do it again. One pound, 3.8 ounces. Left shoe with the lace bag. Yeah, one pound, four ounces. Not that much of a difference. Uh-oh, let me do that again. One pound, one point, one pound, 4.1 ounces. Right shoe. Why is that? Oh, that's one of the lace bag. One pound, 3.5. One pound, 3.5 ounces. One pound, 2.8. One pound, 2.7. So there is a weight difference. Weight difference, color difference, size difference. So we will black light them. And then we will put this video to a close. 11 minutes in. So it's not... Too bad. All right, let's see here. Let's see what's going on here. So we have all this stitching here glowing. We got everything glowing here. We got the icy blue still trying to glow in the midst of all the nonsense of me wearing them. All right. So that's about it. You look in here. We have the tongue glowing. And the stitching on the inside glows. So we're gonna go here, there's no pen marks. It looks like that. I'm just trying to see how it's actually kind of reflecting in the, uh, from my angle, how they painted on this webbing is actually reflecting on the, uh, on the black light. Uh, not bad. No pen marks. Uh, the stitching is pretty much on par with this one. Uh, we could take a look at the midsole and the midsole pattern on here and the size. But uh, everything's looking all right. Pretty much copied these bad boys. Yeah, you just tell it's just... A just the largest shoe. You can tell like just from the paneling here, just a bigger size shoe. Look at that panel here and that panel there. Completely, completely different, but it is what it is. We always know that, you know, these replicated Jordan ones, always like a large, large scale, but I give them credit. They got that toe right. I like that. Pretty good. All right, man, that's your boy Jake signing out, man. What's your take on this shoe? Like I say, these are joint reviews. It's a blind review. I didn't look at these things and study them. So uh, you watch this video and you see something that I missed, hey, feel free to put in the comment section what I missed. Uh, if you could help me with this review, hey man, just go in there and say, hey man, I think you missed this. I think you missed that. But look how thick that ankle collar is compared to the retail pair. Like I say, it's just all scaling. It's all scaling. So it is what it is, man. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Jake signing out. Hey, peace.